Hello YouTubers and today I'm going to be showing you something I've been working on for a long time. It's the Titan class mining carrier. Yay! So basically what this ship does is it... Oh first I just want to apologize to my viewers who watched my update 1.063 video. I want to apologize for the bad quality on that. I really don't know what I was doing and thinking making that video. I once again apologize for the poor quality of that, so it's my fault, but we learn from our mistakes. So this ship is designed to carry mining ships or other ships you want to put into it so that it can go and mine large amounts of asteroid ore. So you got two docking ports on the front and two on the sides again to say so you have to send out your mining ships out to your asteroids and it's mining away. They come back full, unload the stuff and it unloads it into cargo and refining capacity. So let's take a look at the inside of the ship. Up here we got our some of our defense grid. We also got we got seven Gatling turrets on this ship and two hangars with three doors. So here we got our nice forward hangar door. There's a nice little yellow light pattern blinking blinking that's around all the hangar doors. In here it's not much to look at. We got a cargo container for some reason and back here we all know somewhere we got a gravity generator up front can't remember where but see here oh yes those conveyor corner tubes lead to the turrets and these tubes go all the way down the ship the hangar isn't really much to look at until you put a bunch of ships in it so let's proceed with the tour I alt I tried to make a recording of this earlier and it, I alt tabbed and then I found out I wasn't actually recording my mic. Haha, <laughs> seven minutes wasted. Oh yeah, there's the gravity generator. It's upside down because, well, I don't want it excuse me, on the floor to hold space there. I just put everything up here. Up here we got our assemblers, arc furnaces and refineries and gyros are back there. We also got our bunch of large cargo containers. Excuse me, I got the cupboards or something. And so, yeah. But see uh, back here you see our refine my refineries that is stuff it's all mirrored on sides. And then you can see our long row of gyros. Got quite a few of them actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I lost lost track. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eighteen gyros, I think. So let's see here. Let's proceed with this tour. And I'll be uploading this onto the workshop soon. So yeah. Down here we got our crew quarters, which is a nicely lit corridor. There's not much to look at. Oh yeah, and I need to put lights in this room. I did not put... No, I'll do that right now. Hang on, I'll just find my interior lights. There they are. Okay, that's good. And let's proceed down to the next room, just to show you. It's pretty much mo most of the, more of the same. Okay, I didn't put the wrong number of lights in there. I'll go back and fix that. <laughs> delete and delete. Pretty much mirrored. Get out of that, so you don't see that. That's annoying. It's pretty much the same rooms, just not much difference to look in. Case in point, just not much to look at. There's this ship's pretty much a lot of just empty space actually. It was designed for exploration mode to be submitted without mods, but it ha it more than exceeds the refinery limit. <laughs> yeah. Appears just you got know, officer quarters and stuff like that. We also got a recreation center up here, so the crew would eat and then have fun up here, party, you know, stuff you do at place to keep entertained. It's place, I mean space, haha. <laughs> Just so that these are more the same, you could either use these for quarters or storage if you wanted to. Whatever you felt needed. The ship is a lot of flexibility. It can be easily modified by the individual captains who command these ships. They can make modifications as they please. 
to serve functionality. There's why it's so much empty space in this ship. Back here we come to the aft hangar bay. I need to put more lights in here actually. I actually don't have any lights, I need to put lights in here. But we come to the aft hangar bay, which isn't really much to look at because it's all empty. These buttons do control the hangar doors. So yeah, they reverse the pistons. So they're pretty big doors. Back here we got our access room for stuff. And he up here we got our the access corridor leading up with a few batteries in it. Leading up to the uh, main cargo bay, which is up here. There are a lot of large storage containers back here and up here. A lot of them. So three deep. And let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one large cargo containers just in the main storage alone. Yeah, it's a lot of storage. I went a bit overboard on the on storage and this conveyor pipe down here leads to the uh, Gatling turrets down there. So, yeah. Someone just messaged me. Uh, yeah, da -da -da. And let's see here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of batteries back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, people are messaging me on Steam. Back here we got our... Oh, there's... My bad, I forgot to show you stuff. There's one thing I forgot to show you. The airlock. Forgot to show you the airlock. Haha. <laughs> Me and my derpiness. You just got a simple little airlock here. It just leads to the outside. Outside world with a connector out here. Oh, and a nice view of this engine nacelle. I'm gonna show you this down here. We also have an engine nacelle. We got three engine nacelles with thrust large thrusters it's got four small braking thrusters up there and thrusters on the sides to and you can see more blinky yellow light Bink. which are set on five second intervals Bink. 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 jetpack on get through the door the gravity field just extends right just as far as it needs <laughs> And let's proceed back on to the rest of the ship, which is not much to look at now. And this is the large reactors. Which I did not save because I all tabbed. I'm going to save right now. Because I large reactors to provide power. I know I know lots of people like to put hundreds of large reactors in their ships, but that's really not that necessary. Two is sufficient usually. And that, and for the rest of this time, you can use batteries. Up here, we got our bridge, a few interior lights to provide a little bit of lighting. But again, this ship is just designed for functionality. I mean, I'm only using 17% of my power, and I just have two rea large reactors. That's with my thrusters. When I break, I use a little bit more, but. But if I were to shut down my large reactors, I can switch over to batteries and still have a little, quite a bit of power. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, that is this ship. It is impressive to look at. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!